Have you ever felt lingering joint ache or stiffness? Have you ever wondered if this is more than just passing pain? Are these the early signs of rheumatoid arthritis? Today, let me teach you the early signs of rheumatoid arthritis or RA, which is one of the most common forms of arthritis that I see in my practice, rheumatologist on call. Let's begin. Rheumatologistoncall.com What is rheumatoid arthritis? First, it is important to remind you that rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease, not a form of wear and tear like osteoarthritis. That means that your own immune system that is supposed to defend you from viruses or bacteria at some point in life will start attacking your own body. Now, genetics play a significant role in developing rheumatoid arthritis. If you have an immediate family member, such as your parent or sibling diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, that will actually triple your risk to develop this disease. That is why it is important for you to know your family history, as it may help you detect those early signs and symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. Usually, rheumatoid arthritis is affecting the small joints in the hands or the feet, but not every patient develops joint pain in the beginning of the disease, or the joint pain is not so severe which is why it's important to pay attention to other early signs and symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. Are you ready to know these early signs? Let's dive deeper. Low-grade fevers. One of the first indicators of inflammation and rheumatoid arthritis is a persistent low-grade fever, especially in the evening, along with flu-like symptoms like muscle pain, joint pain, chills, or just feeling not well. Fever can come before the joints start to hurt you and before the joints start to be swollen, but fever can be a sign of many other diseases, including infection. So make sure you call your doctor and talk about this. Extreme fatigue. Are you exhausted all the time? Is it hard for you to focus on your daily activities? Are you feeling excessively tired or fatigued? That is a frequent symptom of rheumatoid arthritis. Fatigue or tiredness is persistent despite having a good sleep at nighttime and it may become disabling. It may affect your daily activities. It may affect your mood and job responsibilities. Carpal tunnel syndrome. Now I want you to pay attention here. If you start experiencing difficulties with typing or using your hands, if you start experiencing numbness, tingling sensation, or weakness in both hands, once again, both hands at the same time, this might be a sign of carpal tunnel syndrome, and it is considered as an early sign of rheumatoid arthritis. Carpal tunnel syndrome is caused by median nerve that is being compressed in the wrist area because of inflammation. There are a few other situations that can cause carpal tunnel syndromes in both hands, and these are pregnancy, low thyroid function, and diabetes. If you have none of this, think about rheumatoid arthritis. Don't go to surgery for carpal tunnel until you are sure about the diagnosis. Dryness in the eyes or mouth. Do you feel like you have sand in the eyes at all times? Are your eyes red and dry? Do you have dry mouth? And do you need to drink water all the time? Now, dry eyes and dry mouth can be also early signs of rheumatoid arthritis. This is also called secondary Sjogren syndrome or Sjogren disease, which can be caused by inflammation in the lacrimal and salivary glands. Dry eyes and mouth can happen 
early before the joints get affected, but it can also happen in the time or during the time of ongoing inflammation due to rheumatoid arthritis. Make sure you understand this. In time, if rheumatoid arthritis is not well controlled because of this excessive dryness in the eyes and in the mouth, you will develop visual changes, gum disease, and you're going to have problems with your teeth. If you stay here so far and you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for supporting my educational efforts. Rashes and nodules. Have you seen any pinpoint rashes on your legs? They do not hurt, do not itch or bleed, but they may suggest inflammation in the small vessels under the skin. These kinds of rashes can also be seen in patients with rheumatoid arthritis as an early sign. There are patients that can develop Raynaud's phenomenon, and that will cause changes in the color of your hands or the toes, usually when you expose them to cold weather. About 7% of patients with rheumatoid arthritis can develop nodules under the skin that we call rheumatoid arthritis nodules. They can be confused with lipomas or gout tophi. Gradual joint pain. Now, last but not least important, joint pain. In the early stages of rheumatoid arthritis, joint pain can be very confusing. Usually, joints affected are small joints in the hands and feet. Pain may come and go for a few days, and then it may become more frequent and more persistent. These aches and pains can also be seen as early symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. If you have difficulties using your hands or difficulties to get out of the bed, especially in the morning, that will last more than one hour, but over the course of the day, you feel much better, think about rheumatoid arthritis. It is not all age-related, as many patients think. Call a rheumatologist to see you. Early diagnosis. If you have a genetic predisposition and you start developing signs and symptoms like joint pain, low-grade fevers, bilateral carpal tunnel, dry eyes, dry mouth, and other signs, you should think about rheumatoid arthritis. Why is it important to think about it? Because a timely and correct diagnosis will help you not to live in pain. Because what is worse than pain? And it will help you prevent your joints from being damaged by inflammation. And not only that, but will improve your quality of life and will prevent further complications like affecting your lungs, affecting your heart and your eyes. And it will save time and money to be seen by the correct specialist. So do not ignore these early signs. Think about rheumatoid arthritis and call a rheumatologist as soon as possible. What can you do when you cannot get an appointment soon? How to find help for rheumatoid arthritis when you need it the most? When you start feeling unwell and you suspect an autoimmune disease, you better make an appointment with a specialist, with someone that treats these diseases every day. Unfortunately, many patients see a number of other doctors and specialists before they come to see me. And it is important to see the specialist who understands and is also able to recognize rheumatoid arthritis very quickly. Because many times the answer is not only in the blood test, as many people believe. Here at Rheumatologist on Call, we are specialized and dedicated to diagnosing and treating rheumatoid arthritis. And we use everything that is today available, the most advanced methods, but we also have a comprehensive approach that will include genetic assessment and state-of-the-art blood tests. And our approach is unique because we use a holistic approach that will focus on nutrition, physical therapy, and mindfulness practices 
to add to those most advanced treatments that are specifically designed for rheumatoid arthritis patients. And we proudly say that we treat the whole body and the mind. We treat the patients and not only their disease. If you or someone that you know wants to get better sooner, please visit our website or contact our office to schedule a consultation. And with that, I would like to thank you for joining me today. And if you have any comments or if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to learn more about rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune diseases. Thank you for watching. rheumatologistoncall.com